Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Monday the 14th of June 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Druidcraft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Carr Gone. Okay, my wonderful friends, I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Okay, let's start with our Star Seeds Wisdom for Spiritual Growth and see what our little affirmation is for today. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, I'll show you the reverse in case there is uh, something in the image for you. And you get, wow, okay, no limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is so much for you to share. I like that, my friends. Starting the week with no limitations. <laughs> wow. OK, well, let's see what wonderful message Spirit does indeed have for us for the start of the week. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Your first card. <laughs> what is the message? Oh, your second card. <clears throat> From Spirit. Oh, and your third card. Okay. And your cards are the Queen of Swords. Followed by the Four of Pentacles. And finishing with the Six of Cups. Your first card is the Queen of Swords. Queens, they are motherly, they are creative, they are compassionate and nurturing. The Queen of Swords is all about truth, honesty, integrity. Um, she represents the zodiac sign of Libra, if that means anything to anyone. And I love in this image how um, you can just see she has her eyes closed. She's very in tune with herself, um, with her inner world, um, wearing the wonderful colour purple, uh, representing her, her crown chakra and her connection with the divine. Uh, purple also is royalty it's also um nobility um it can repre uh, represent uh, luxury and wealth um but this also is um as the queen of swords she trusts her intuition um okay she is an energy of she walks she walks her walk and talks her talk uh, she walks her talk, Spirit is actually saying. Um, when you are in the presence of this Queen, you are in no mistake that when she actually speaks, she is speaking um, with truth, with honesty and with integrity. Um, and it might be that you might not want to hear the truth I am hearing. Uh, the Queen of Swords sometimes... <sighs> sometimes not so tactful um so i'm feeling today friends that there is a truth um going to be said um and it might not be said with tact however i do feel that this truth is 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 being told um with honesty and and with real integrity um okay Next, we have the Four of Pentacles. 
for the number of uh, structure, security, stability, foundation in the physical, in your material world. And the Four of Pentacles, well, it can speak of a miserly energy. However, um, and it has been coming out a lot recently, uh, but, the, but the, uh, the message I receive from Spirit at the moment, every time this card comes up, is that this is you um, doing something that your future self will be very proud of. Um, and I feel that this is, um, it's saving, it's um, putting away for a rainy day. <clears throat> pentacles uh, the element of earth so this is your assets your resources um, could be your finances um, but I do see you being resourceful spirit is saying you are being resourceful and doing something that your future self is going to be so very proud of um, and it is related to this truth um, that is going to be given I feel when you hear this truth I feel you will be spurred <clears throat> into this action of um, of being resourceful I am hearing from spirit um, OK, I'm just picking the card back up because I'm drawn to the window and the gorgeous yellow sunshine uh, coming through the window. Um, yellow, uh, the colour of clarity. Um, and that's what you're going to be receiving, I'm hearing from Spirit today. You are going to receive some clarity um, and it is going to... It's going to see you be resourceful, I am hearing from spirit. Okay, next you have the six of cups. Six, the number of balance, harmony, unity, um, equal proportion. It is also the number of karmistic, karmistic debts being paid. The Six of Cups, it's a card of memories, it's a card of nostalgia. Um, here we see um, the uh, character here um, looking through the window, looking at the children playing. Um, I feel that these children are um, this person's children. However, um, I feel that watching them play um, is, um, it is a calling um, and a reminder of how innocent um, you felt in childhood um, I'm feeling spirit is saying um, today to live with a childlike sense of wonder uh, look at your world through the eyes of a child look for the magic spirit is saying look for the signs and look for the magic because it is all there um, all of these cups all in the upright um, all full of, let me see what they are, if I can get close enough. I think they look like flowers. Uh, I know in another deck that it was Sweet Williams, but I feel um, <sighs> this really is a message from spirit of <sighs> getting in touch with your inner child, seeing the magic in the world looking at the world through the eyes of a child and trusting in the mystery I am hearing. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Next we will have Wisdom of Avalon by Colette Barrett-Reed. What is the message from spirit? Woo! Okay. And let's lower the camera. Okay, we can't go to, we're going to lose the, there we go. And <laughs> your card from Avalon is, oh, Wow, wow, wow. What a confirmation, my wonderful friends. You get number 51, truth, five and one, adding up to the wonderful number six. Um, this truth is really going to restore some balance, some harmony, um, some unity, I am hearing. Okay. 
and again i really feel um a six is the uh, number of karmistic debts being paid so again this really is more of um this paradigm shift really moving away from old energies and well and truly moving into a new energy where you are trusting the mystery trusting the magic trusting your connection with the divine trusting in the truths that you are receiving truth in a word and deed is what is required of you by drawing this marker as well as resonating with your own personal truth it's important now to also demand the same from others in every person there's a vibrational energy that's accessible by slowing down and searching within to inquire is this real am i hearing truth from another or is it a lie am i speaking honestly myself or am i trying to manipulate circumstances to get what i want remember even a white lie will cause your light to fade and lose power a lie takes you down into the lower vibrations of the ego world ruled by separation and limitation and its seduction of the lower world and serves no one but the forces of darkness this marker reminds you to remain in the light even if it seems like a more difficult path truth will build a bridge across a chasm truth will lend a magic wand of strength and integrity truth is freedom wow friends and um oh okay and spirit just saying um mark my words today my friends mark my words Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is a biggie to start the week with my wonderful friends okay next we will have a sacred destiny oracle by Denise Lynn. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Monday the 14th of June? Thank you. And your Sacred Destiny Oracle card is Illumination. And I love it. It's coming under this Four of Pentacles and also under this kind of the low, no limitations as well. Um, and of course, um, when truths are revealed, then uh, there is illumination also. Okay. <clears throat> with me there we go mist rising on the alpine lake as the sun rises over the far mountains mists begin to swirl upward illuminated by the golden radiant rays of morning light in many traditions mist symbolizes what is called the mystic veil which represents an entrance point into the unseen realms in ancient and native cultures mists are associated with mystical and magical inner dimensions mist in the mountains represents higher states of consciousness the sacred landscape wants you to know the upward spiraling mists rising in the mountains suggest that those in the realm of spirit your spirit protectors ancestors and guardians are close at hand assisting you on your upward journey of illumination they are protecting you and supporting you your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds and even if you can't see what's ahead spirit is close at hand and if you drew this card trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think and you will be guided in a wondrous direction friends i really feel this four of pentacles um, this is something that you've already done um, a while ago you did something a while ago that you are about to 
un unlock, you are it's about to be revealed, it's about to be illuminated, you are going to remember um, something um, that you did a while ago and this, you now, it's something that you are proud of yourself for doing, I am hearing, oh, <laughs> wow, 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 okay, well, here we go. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, who I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit? For my wonderful friends. Thank you, Ruby. Okay, your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is. Oh, wow! Wow, wow, wow! And Ruby asking me to do that and just say to you look at the colour coordination between these two cards um, being in your truth um, opening unlocking doors <laughs> unlocking safes <laughs> unlocking the door to prosperity ruby is saying wow a gift of money is on its way your income is increasing manage your finances with love oh <laughs> all of these cards my friend are all based up my friends, I should say, are all based around this four of pentacles. Something that you've done in the past that you are just going to be so proud of yourself when the truth is revealed and you are um, able to unlock. Um, Ruby's saying it's prosperity. It's a gift of money that is coming to you. Wow, wow, wow. Ruby says this unicorn brings news of a financial blessing. A period of good fortune is opening up for you. If your flow of money has felt blocked recently, this is a sign that abundance is returning to your life. If you've been working towards an increase in your income, it's a sign that your breakthrough will be happening soon. Let go of any worry or impatience, as this will only slow down your supply. Instead, Imagine the money you desire is already in your bank account and feel the way you would if you already had plenty to spend, save and share. Let yourself feel relaxed, relieved, happy, grateful and excited, regardless of the numbers in front of you. Trust that these good feelings and positive expectations will help activate your prosperity more than any fear will. As you focus on your new financial reality, follow your guidance on taking action, whether it's organising your accounts, asking for a raise, creating a new product in your business. Work on clearing any limiting blocks or beliefs about wealth so you can create a clear channel through which funds can manifest. The divine is your source of financial prosperity and it's time for you to open up your flow and to receive. Oh, friends, because at the beginning of the message, we were told no limitations. So no, um, no boundaries, no limitations, no lack consciousness. I am hearing. OK. Uh, let's see what trinket or trinkets would like to come today. Well, we have one. <laughs> OK, here we go. Well, we have cat energy. Um, it's in silver, so that relates to the divine masculine, uh, sorry, divine feminine energy. Uh, and where would you like to go? wants to go on the Queen of Swords. I hear some of you are already uh, guessing which um, card the trinkets are going to go on. That's fabulous, my friends. It tells me how in tune you are. Okay, 
cats? Well, they are curious, they are intelligent, they are independent, um, they have a deep connection with, with their self, just like the Queen of Swords does. Um, and they are about healing because they do, they are about healing themselves from inside out. So uh, emphasis really on this Queen of Swords today, my friends. Remember, no limitations. Be in your truth, Spirit saying, mark my words, mark your words. Um, remember not to be in the consciousness um, or the energy of lack. Uh, stay in this wonderful uh, energy of knowing that there are no limits. Um, onto anything that you can bring in from the universe you've been illuminated today my friends and ruby letting you know prosperity prosperity is on its way because you are looking at your world through the eyes of a child with a childlike sense of wonder wow 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 Thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them. Do keep them coming. I apologise if I miss anyone out. <laughs> Sometimes they put them and hold them for review and I don't see that they've done that for a, if I don't check for a while. So many apologies if I've missed anyone out. It is unintentional. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.